Well, you already know that The Lion King is my favorite Disney movie of all time, but there's another one that I actually consider to be the absolute best Disney movie. Here it is. A Goofy Movie. That's right, A Goofy Movie as well is another one of my favorite movies ever made. I, I mean, I have grew up with this movie. I watched it like a million times as a kid. It's a cl it's a basic favorite of me mine and my brother's. Oh, then my mother loves to watch it too. My sister as well. Oh, um, oh, so oh, I just love watching it on from to this day or something. I and I love watching the clips. I love the songs. Oh, it's basically what I said about the Lion King, but it's basically the same thing here too. The story is about Max, played by on oh, James Marston. No, no, Jason Marston. He's basically basically uh, trying to impress a girl named Roxanne because he has a huge crush on her. So he, so what he does on a day of high school, he basically he, uh, or tries to set up a power line concert for her to impress her uh, with his dance moves and all, and all that stuff. Oh, with the help of his best friend PJ, played by Rob Paulson, and his other best friend Bobby, played by Polly Shore, which I will get to in a minute. But that's going on. Goofy's father... Sorry. Uh, Max's father, Goofy, played by Bill Farmer, is is at work, or oh, at oh, yeah, uh, probably at Walmart or something because he uh, he's a photographer, or for like for children and stuff. Oh, to like take pictures or and stuff. Oh, like uh, probably, but it's basically like Walmart, like how they take pictures and and also um, on Target as well. Uh, but uh, he works at the at a at a department store for the photo area, or in um. Oh, he's well. While he's just taking pictures, his uh, his friend Pete, played by Jim Cummings, always oh, comes in and tells him that he and PJ are going on vacation, on well, going camping, on you know nothing like, or nothing like the great outdoors to stricken the bond between a father and a son. On oh, and on uh, Goofy thinks that he does, I probably wouldn't do anything like that, but, uh, but um, uh, he thinks that uh, Max is a good kid, but. But he uh, got into trouble because his principal, all named Principal Mazer, played by Wallace Shawn, on thought that he's he was dressed up as a gang member and caused a riot. Or like Pete said, like, uh, well, in uh, one of the scenes, like something's wrong when a kid won't spend time with his parents. But after it all, he's all running around with some gang and stealing stuff and causing a riot. See, oh yeah, and then the little girl is like screaming, or like get right, get right. Oh, that part always makes me laugh. But um, uh, but after he uh, Goofy heard the news, was uh, he or uh, tries to figure out what to do. But uh, instantly he sees a um a bobblehead toy, uh, and then uh, he he realized like destiny, because he uh wants to go fishing with his son Max, but Max doesn't want to go fishing because he went he's actually trying to get a date for Roxanne. On uh, so um, uh, uh, and of course a lot of great comedy. I love. And, uh, they basically go on their road trip and stuff, and it, uh, and it's so much fun, it's just so funny. Oh, yeah, um, what do you call it? Oh, yeah, they, oh, yeah, what do you call it? Sorry, I'm just trying to remember, it's just so much fun talking about this movie. But, um, uh, they do go on the trip, first destination that they go to is a, is a possum park. I'll call it Lester's Possum Park. Uh, again, um, and, uh, Goofy and Max like, like uh, try. Like, well, they're basically on their way to the road to the to like Destiny, but they keep on going to part to other places. Like, first they um, or like I said, they go to Lester's Possum Park. Like Max gets annoyed, and then, on uh, they go down camping, like first, and then they come across Pete. Like, but on uh, they uh, Goofy does try to teach Max how to fish, and then uh, or he Goofy catches Bigfoot. Uh, and then um, they run away from Bigfoot, and um, basically he's like trying to get the car uh, and stuff. But uh, all that comedic stuff happens, and they go to other destinations. But Max actually uh, uh, takes he finds out that the map was in the glove compartment, uh, and then he changes uh, the direction to the concert. Uh, but uh, but yeah, that's pretty much what I have to say right now because I don't want to waste any time. I am like talking the story because. There's just so many great things about it. It may sound like a like your basic father and son relationship, but the relationship of and the connection between Goofy and Max is just so excellent from the beginning to end. Oh, and it's so memorable. Oh, especially Goofy, who's my favorite Disney character ever. Oh, I just love he goes. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 oh. oh, I could say it loud, 
Oh, but, oh, but it's basically nighttime, so I can't really say it out loud, but, but I'll probably do an improv video or something. But, um, I also love PJ, played by Rob Paulson. He's on, oh, no, uh, he also did him in, uh, in Goof Troop. Polly Shore as Bobby. What else did I say? Uh huh. Max, look! It's the Leaning Tower of Jesus! Uh -huh. Or every time I just love seeing that part. He just makes me Bobby just makes me laugh. He even made me laugh in uh, in the second Goofy movie, which was called Extremely Goofy Movie. Um, uh, I love the uh the the scene where Max is like at one of the uh, Lester's Possum Park, and he's like, "My life's a living hello, little buddy. Who's your favorite possum? Don't touch me. Aw, why such a long face?" You're so sad. <laughs> I know. You need a big hug for Lester. Don't even think about it. See, now you feel all good inside. <sighs> Bad doofus. Or oh, isn't it, um, when he smacks his, um, uh, his mask, like it just goes backwards and then he walks backwards or something. It's just, oh my god. That's probably like the funniest scene in the movie for me. Uh, but, uh, uh, the other stuff I love is that I just love, I love the songs. Every last of them are great. All right, the animation is spot on. I love the backgrounds. I love of the connection of all the characters. It's just, I got no problems with this movie whatsoever. I think it's one of those perfect family movies you should definitely check out. So, so honestly, from my opinion, you realize that you realize that this movie has not been released on Blu-ray, or yet it has been released on DVD, but they never released it on Blu-ray, which I think. Which I kind of think is a crime. I that they haven't re-released it on Blu-ray. I mean, I know they haven't really released it on the Blu-ray version of The Black Cauldron. But but definitely do it for this movie. I mean, this so deserves a Blu-ray release. Or, it's, or even re-release it on the big screen. Everybody can go see it and then they'll definitely really enjoy it. And they'll see why it's such a classic. But, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Oh, have you realized in one of the scenes in the Goofy movie when they were about to leave for their um, their trip? Of, um, or like after when Goofy says goodbye, pile of broken wood, they're driving, and then Max is like, like goodbye, hopes, goodbye, dreams, goodbye, Roxanne, Roxanne, or like instantly his head just pops up in a millisecond, or like it looks like it was a little bit of an animation error in that scene, but I'm like, like it just sort of gets to me, it just sort of makes me laugh off every time I see that part, but overall, Goofy movie and Lion King. I mean, well, like I said, both these two films are my favorite Disney movies and one of my favorite films, period. But I was going to save Goofy Movie for later, but I'm like, you know what? I'll just review it right now because I am real because I wanted to do a theme year. I wanted to review this for a long time. All right, so if you guys have not seen it, I really, really highly recommend for you to check it out. It's worth your time. It's worth the money. And you'll just adore it like I did, like how me and my brother and my sister and my mom do. So, just comment below what you actually think of the movie, click like, follow me on Twitter and Facebook, and don't forget to subscribe, and share the video, and I will see you in the next video. I'm the Bostonian Critic, and I will see you later.